We're back here with Britt Garner. She's one of the uh, co-founders of a new uh, critical, think critical thinking um, science group called MISSLE, and it stands for? The Missoula Interdisciplinary Science League. Cool. So the, let's uh, talk a little bit more uh, about this uh, for the, some of you who don't know what this is all about. What is your mission statement? Yeah, so what we are all about is promoting the use and more importantly, the celebration of science and critical thinking in our community. So we wanna get people pumped about science and have community level events where we can come together and discuss things and just in general, kind of say we are a community that believes in this and thinks it's awesome. Great, so uh, um, you guys are hosting an event on National Pi Day, which is next Tuesday, March 14th, at the University Center Ballroom. Can you tell us a little bit more what, of what people can expect from there? Yeah, so we are doing the missile launch on, uh, on Pi Day, and for us, this is gonna be a community science celebration, one that we are planning to do every year uh, moving forward. So it's gonna be from six to nine, and we are gonna have a welcome um, address, and then we're gonna have a panel of scientists, so I'm gonna moderate a panel discussion we have an astrophysicist, a science communicator, and an expert in science education and literacy. Um, and so I'm going to be asking them questions and talking and taking uh, questions from the audience. And then we're going to open up into an open house uh, from 7.30 to 9. And that's going to have different booths with hands-on activities. We'll have a kid's corner. We're going to be showing some nature documentaries. Um, and the really exciting part is that we're going to have a bunch of scientists from the community come in. And they are going to be available for an Ask Me Anything conversation area where they'll just have a bunch of tables, bunch of scientists, and people can come in, sit down next to someone, and ask them anything about their topic. Cool. And this is basically like a launch party. You guys are going to be hosting a bunch of events that are coming up. You said that you are going to be something doing something like an, uh, a science on tap kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. So this is just um, the very start, but we'd like to maybe do something at least once a month as we get started. Um, science on tap is something that's really successful um, and very fun. Uh, Dr. El at the bio station, uh, has done a wonderful job doing this at Flathead Lake and basically it's what it sounds like you have a scientist come in uh, you meet at a bar and uh, you drink and be merry and talk and uh, just get to have that kind of one-on-one -on -one time with a researcher yeah, I think that's really inter the, the, the really interesting thing about missile in, in, in particular is that how spectrum really is geared towards kids. Well, missile is kind of geared towards everybody who's definitely curious about this. It's always good to come in with an open mind, but at the same time, it's always good to bring those who are curious about science and critical thinking in general. Can you uh, talk a little bit more about what it means to be a critical thinker? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think it's just, it's so easy with all the information we have. We're just in a total overload, information overload right now. So to be a critical thinker is to be able to look at information and ask yourself, you know, where did it come from? Maybe, um, what does it mean? What is it trying to say? Are these facts or these opinions? Um, and it, more broadly, critical thinking is just taking those steps with each thing that you do. Yeah, um, yeah and, and making sure that there's a basis of logic and reasoning. Um, behind our thought process. Yeah, and it's always good, uh, of course, you know, there's some people who are just like, oh, I don't believe in this, or I don't believe in that, but it's always nice to kind of like, kind of like talk to them and kind of figure out why they think that way. A lot of times yeah. people just are so um, fixated on like one idea for so long, it's kind of right. hard for them to kind of, like kind of think outside the box when they're so comfortable in their box. Right, and what I love about science, and especially when I tutor younger kids about this, when we talk about science, science never proves anything. In fact, the really cool thing about science is its job is to throw things out. <laughs> so it's always, I've got these results and I'm rejecting this hypothesis. We never prove things, we're just gathering evidence. Like, and that's what's really, really cool, you know? It's, it's, um, it's a process. You might think something for a millennia and then find out something new. So I think that scientists have been doing that forever and I think everybody can do that, you know? You get new information and, and you rethink. So once again, um, um, also, where can people find more information? All right. Yes, we have a Facebook event page. You can definitely RSVP there and get more information. And that, if you look up M-I-S-L, that's Missile, um, you'll see the Missile Launch Community Science Celebration event page. Um, and you can also uh, be looking for flyers. We're going to have flyers all around town. You'll also be able to see. But yeah, 6 to 9 next Tuesday, Pi Day at the UC Ballroom. Cool. Is there anything else you want to say? No, just that we're so excited, and, uh, and thank you so much for having me. Um, 
we are looking forward to getting going. Yeah, well, thanks for being on here. Uh, once again, this is uh, Britt Gardner. She's the co-founder of MISL, which stands for Missoula Interdisciplinary Germany. Science League. Cool. So check it out next Tuesday from 6 to 9 at the third floor of the University Center UC Ballroom. Yes. We'll be right back. We have a lot more on the show for you guys um, right after.